everybody. This is Cindy Stevenson Tuttle with the Historic Saluda Committee, and we're out on another adventure on site. And it's uh, a, it's about mid-September. It's a uh, overcast day in beautiful Saluda, right outside of Saluda, on the Old Mountain Page Road. And we are at the entrance to the Old Mountain Page Cemetery. In front of me is an old church that is not the original Old Mountain Page Church, as some folks think. This was actually built in the 1940s um, in order to hold funeral services, and I've even heard revivals, uh, that kind of thing, close to the site of the Old Mountain Page Church. I was going to take you inside, but not really sure that I should try it. That is one heck of a hornet's nest. I may be able to get a shot from inside um, from a window. I think this chimney's about to fall in. From what I understand, the original benches to the original Old Mountain Page Church um, are in this church. And I can't go inside, but it looks like, for some reason, someone has stacked them up. The last time I went in, they were positioned the way they would have been in the church. Don't know what that's about. Maybe the roof's leaking. As far as I know, no one maintains this structure. And I think even the property boundaries are a little iffy. But let's turn around and go up the hill to the cemetery. We just saw deer running through this little path a minute ago. We're at the top of the hill now. You can see the cemetery. This is really, I guess, considered the backside. With the graves facing all in one direction. And we came up the hill from this way. You can see the church, the old 1940s church at the bottom of the hill. Now, where I'm facing right this minute is where I understand that the original Old Mountain Page Church sat. And it was also called the Mountain Meeting House. The Mountain Page community is the original community that later spun off into the town of Saluda. Of course, Saluda is located a couple of miles down the road from here and is in Polk County and we're actually standing in Henderson County. But this wedge of Henderson County was where the first settlement, where the first settlers came to the Saluda area. And 
when we think about Mountain Page community, we think about the Pace family because this is where the first uh, family members of the Paces settled. And I'm going to show you the very first, what we think is the very first Pace to arrive in Salute. I'm going to show you his um, burial site. But this is the um, site of the old church. It was wooden, wooden frame structure, of course, back in the day. This could have been, we think the Paces came here in the very, very early 1800s, very probably like 1805, but we're not real sure um, exact dates. I am going to add some filler with this content of some research that I've done on the Pace family, and that will help fill in some of the gap as we go along. I won't try to stand here and read history to you um, while we're on site, but I will add some filler to this as we go along. But the church, the Mountain Page church burned a number of times and the um they built it back and then there was some from what i've been told through oral history there was some division in the family in the uh, community and then it led to them building the current mountain page church which is located over on um the mountain page road just a stone's throw away and it it was actually built as a wooden structure as well, and it burned. They finally built it back in um, with with rock. So we'll go there one day and um, go on site. But in the meantime, on our YouTube page, there is a, a couple of interviews that we did about that church, and you can hear all about um, more details about that particular church and the Pace family there too. But this old bench has been here a long time. I'm not sure when it was placed here. Um, I think some visitors to the uh, Mountain Page, Old Mountain Page Cemetery would come and sit. Maybe they used to have some picnics out here. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to walk over and I'm going to go to the opposite side and come in what they would have considered the proper entrance in. And then I'll tell you a little bit about the family. Okay, we're now facing what many would have considered the front of the cemetery. You would have pulled your car around. There's a road that goes around right through here, and you could have pulled up here. Of course, I'm assuming these graves are facing east, as is tradition. Most of the graves in here are of mem for members of the Pace family in the other families that married in to the Pace family. We just recently had a conversation on our Facebook page about, I guess it's pronounced Rita Hip. January 2nd, 1876, July 10th, 1950. Other members of the Hip family. Riley Hip. When the sun goes behind the clouds, it's a little easier to read these. Okay, 
Well, the reason I brought you down here today is primarily for what I'm about to show you. Um, because I'm the one doing these videos, for now, I'm sharing what I know. And that is about my family. And hopefully we'll have many guests in the future who can come out and talk about details about their family. But right now, this is a row of paces. And as you can see, um, there's some new markers there. Used to be just field stones. Aside from the one that's kind of tall, slim and tall, that one's been there for a number of years, but otherwise these other folks only had field stones. And Dr. George Jones with the Henderson County Historical Association, Genealog Genealogical and Historical Association, initiated a project to put up some markers for the folks that did not have um, actual uh, markers that just had field stones. So these are some of the, the markers that were put up by him. I did put one up for one particular family member of mine and I'll show you that in a minute. But anyway, um, Burl Pope Pace. He is the oldest ancestor of our family to have arrived in Saluda. And this grave is dated, and you can see the etchings on this um, older marker. So he died in 1816. He is a um, revolutionary war hero. There's some very interesting, interesting uh, stories about Revolutionary War where he's concerned and where his father and a brother are concerned. So I will add some information into the video about that. But it's a story that's been told to me since I was a child. And Burl is my fourth great-grandfather. And, of course, his wife, Lydia Woodruff. Lydia, Lydia's family, the Woodruffs, they actually um, founded the town of Woodruff, South Carolina. And that town is named after her family. Interestingly enough, Burrow and Lydia once lived in what was then Surrey County and ended up in Woodruff, South Carolina, and then later came to Saluda. So um, this is our original um, Pace family member and most of the folks from Saluda, though there are a lot of Paces from a lot of different branches, as far as the Saluda folks that are Paces, this is their ancestor as well. And these are, um, I understand, children perhaps of the, uh, of Burl. Cornelius, Cornelius is an interesting story. We have an oral history on that. Cornelius owned the land that Saluda, the town of Saluda, now sits on. And there's an interesting story um, actually told by Dr. George Jones about how that land, his estate was never settled until the town of Saluda wanted to... Um, be incorporated and be established on his property. And you can see he di died in 1847. So Saluda was founded in 1881, and there was a big brouhaha about settling his estate. Everybody thought they were going to get rich. But anyway, you'll have to listen for it. I'll try to remember to put a link down in our um, in the comment section of this video on YouTube where you can hear that for yourself. As you can see, all the other field stones out here. And there's also 
we think somebody's um, done a lot of clearing. We also think there's a lot of unmarked graves um, out through here under those trees. According to Dr. Jones, this property belongs to the Pace family, which means all Paces. But the deed trail is really um, confusing, and there's been some question about it over the years. So um, that's why um, there is a um, descendant of the Pace family who does keep the property up, comes out and mows. We appreciate that. But anyway, let's move on. Okay, going forward. Moses Pace. Moses Pace is my third great-grandfather on the Pace side. Now, uh, I don't know a whole lot about Margaret, but I'll try to post some information about her and where her family comes from. And Moses Pace was the first to operate the Pace House that I, as far as I know of, the Pace House stood on the, um, where the, the nursing home is in Saluda now. And that was a, in operation for many, many years. It was even operating when my grandmother was a child. And I do have some of the furniture out of that house and I have some of the dishes and so forth that were once in that house. So I'll try to put some pictures up with that. Um, so, this is my third great-grandfather, and then my second great-grandfather, and grandparents, I should say, should honor my grandmo grandmothers as well, Ransom Woodruff Pace, Emily Catherine Gilbert, and they took over operation of the Pace House when Moses passed with the agreement that Ransom would look, look after Moses' wife. That's what my grandmother told me. Of course, this was my grandmother's grandfather. And he died in 1920. Ransom, well, all the paces, but Ransom still had a significant uh, portion of land in Saluda. And he deeded out a lot of that land. And a lot of the houses in Saluda, especially in town, are built on land he once owned. And he was also in business with his son-in-law, um, O.B. Guerin, who was married to his daughter, Margaret Pace Guerin, and she was nicknamed Maggie. So they were in business building a lot of the old homes around town. So sometimes um, if Ransom once owned the land, it could possibly be that O.B. Guerin built the house that, that's sitting on it. It's hard to tell. He sold, he did sell a lot of the land, and I do have some of the, the records of that, those land transactions. So, um, anyway, so this is my second great-grandfather and grandmother. And my aunt, uh, Lucille Stevenson, and I purchased this marker for Ransom. And this is a daughter of Ransom and Emily's that passed away. And she's buried, her name's Nalina, and she's um, buried next to them. Now, here's an interesting tidbit. This is Ransom Woodruff Pace, 1835-1920. Now, there's a famous Ransom Pace. And my grandmother always said, don't get them confused. It's a nephew of our Ransom. And that is Ransom Taylor Pace. And he was called, nicknamed Bud. And he was, what I've been told, he was named after my second great-grandfather. Now... This uh, Ransom Pace, a.k.a. Bud, was very famous because he had 29 children. And I'll put in the video some information about that. So, yeah, he, he, had, he had 29 children. A lot of the Paces in Saluda today are descendants of Bud, and he had three wives. And I know that two of them are buried here, I do believe. 
um, correct me if I'm wrong in comments, and the third one refused to be buried here too. I think the other um, wife is over here maybe. Yeah, wife of R.T. Pace. here but I'm sure some of the family members can correct me in the comments so this is the old mountain page cemetery and um, I have a, a book the historic committee has a really cool book that was donated to us from um, the family of dr. George Jones and it's the pace family history it's a really thick book details lots of information about the Pace family. There's Jamestown connection, and uh, I won't try to get it all on this video, um, but um, our original Pace ancestor that came over um, and settled in America in, near, near Jamestown actually was the one that saved Jamestown from an Indian massacre. And that's a huge story if you go to Jamestown. There's plaques up about that. But anyway, I won't get into all that. that right now while I'm out here live but um or on person in person on site but we can tell tell you more about that later Anyway, so that's basically it. Lots of stories of lots of these folks out here. I'm not sure of the history. Austin Williams, and I'm not sure who that is. I'm gonna have to look that up. And once again, the side of the old church. Wish I could take you in this old 1940s church, but I'm scared of that hornet's nest. It really looks like a booger. My husband said, no way, we're not going near that thing. That's pretty amazing. Hey folks, I got up the nerve to look inside. I'm not going in though, it's just a little window.
So the husband's cranked the car up, so I guess that means it's time to go. So join us on our next adventure when we explore more of Saluda's treasures. There's so much history here and we enjoy sharing it. Please follow us on Facebook and uh, follow us on our website, www.historicsaluda.org. Thanks again.